See, what I got here is natural flesh. And, you know, after using your base coat sealer, you know, a little bit of base coat sealer around the eyes. Now, if it's too dark right in here, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll, uh, I get a little bit of natural flesh and, uh, you know, maybe put a little bit of a, my goal is to match the white around the eyes and sometimes just a little bit of flesh in there is good enough to match that. It don't take much. So every deer is a little bit different. So, uh, kind of let that be your guide. Now, if you, if you deer, if you're afraid your deer is going to come out a little bit too dark, here's what I do. And a lot of times if you got damage, like around the white parts of the eye, you know, where you've been fighting and stuff. Now, this is after you've whitened around the nose and all that stuff. You know, I'll go ahead and keep my white in my bowl. Now, this is what I didn't show in the video, so I'm showing it now. Uh, You know, you don't want your deer with real dark looking eyes. So here is how you remedy that. Like right here, it's real dark. Go ahead and cover that darkness up with a little bit of, try to, you know, try to tone it in with the color you already got. And don't worry about overspraying the eyes, that comes right up. And rich brown, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little touch of rich brown can cover up what, what looks a little bit fake right now. Okay, like right in here, sometimes it's like super dark and you want to lighten it up. You know, you don't want it too dark anyway. You know, if I'm, you know, there's, okay, like here's a little bad spot right here. You can see it, just a little nick. See, kind of covered it up. And a lot of times, if you don't want that too dark, go ahead and cover it over a little bit with a little bit of your your white natural flesh kind of look. You know, you don't want to kill it completely out. So you can just kind of you know, a lot of times if there's like a wrinkle like that, that's kind of a good effect anyway for me. But yeah, you can see you can darken. And even though you're going to darken it back up, at least it's going to be paint. And uh, you're not going to have like an extremely dark eye, which is what you don't want. Okay, now i got my rich brown again. Got my airbrush turned down real low. Got to adjust my paint. Always got to adjust my paint. Now areas where it's like real white, usually up on top is where you see your, a lot of your rich brown. Well, see, I can blend that in and make it look virtually real. It depends on how much damage you got, you know. But see, or even right down here where it's a lot lighter, you can still blend it in. See what I mean? You know, we get carried, too, carried away with it too much and make it too dark. But I'm not going to get that because that's that's dark right there. So I'm just going to go ahead to my next color. Okay, now I've got a Q-tip. I've got lacquer thinner on it, and uh, I flattened the end out a little bit, and then got lacquer thinner on it, and then rolled it one time in a paper towel. And you just want to get as close to the eye as you can. Our next color is a dark color anyway. But you can use an X-Acto knife and get all that off. I've, I've done that before. I've got an X-Acto knife and get it all off. You want to try not to... Well, they got stuff you can put over the eye that helps. Then you just peel it off. So they got options. Just get as good as you can. You can scrape off what you can't get with a Q-tip with an X-Acto knife. You get right down to the where the skin and the glass eye meet. You get right down to it.
You know, if a little bit of dark paint gets in your eye, on your eye, that's not going to be noticeable. You know, that's my what, my next color anyway. You know, I still clean my eye off of the Q-tip, you know. But I may not get so exact as far as, you know, <clears throat> scraping the paint off or anything. But I think you get the idea here. You know, it don't matter because you're putting dark paint on it. Right here in the rear of the eye, you know, get right up to that glass even. Right here in the bottom, a q-tip and a non-use q-tip and kind of just clean everything off and dark brown or black either one most people go black i go dark brown i was kind of taught to do that but it's not as harsh kind of got it thin down like i want it now this is after you paint the nose and the, and the nostrils and everything else you know you can control your intensity here a lot better than I did in the, in the video, I guess I should say. But of course, right down in here. So I get my, I do like I always do. And, Kind of go around that outskirts of the eye. Uh... Basically, you get get the eyelashes, the lower eyelashes. And that's about it. Places down here where you might have missed oversprayed a little bit, it'll come right up with a Q-tip. And you can even uh, if you want to smooth and stuff in a little bit. A lot of people like use a toothbrush or like if you maybe if you overpaint too much you can use a toothbrush to take some of the bag off that's, that's your options there a little bit of a bright spot there didn't want it that bright Good enough You can rub some of that stuff off if you have to. You know, if you gotta lighten it up, it's a way to lighten it up. Just, uh, you can do it. I got my Q-tip, flatten it out a little bit on the end, you know. Put a little lacquer thinner on it once. Roll it in a paper towel. Then I just get as close as I can to the eye. This is my way of doing it. No one's ever shown me this way. I've just kind of done it. But I think somebody told me about mixing a lot with the natural flesh to kind of blend in, you know, the white, white of the eye with some of the other parts.
And depending on the eye that you use, uh, you might want to scrape that some of that dark paint off around, you know, get pretty close to the skin. Using an X-Acto knife. Let's get my X-Acto knife and scrape right up to the edge of the skin. I know it's not the best way to do it, but it's the way I do do it. It's more time consuming. We get all of this down here and I'm scraping off all that stuff to tin real close. Good enough for me. Then kind of feather it off with a non-use Q-tip. Make sure you got all your little paint particles off. Sometimes you can get a little bit, a little on the eyelashes. I try to get those off. You know, some, you know, if you got a little white paint or left on there. Okay, and then after you, you know you gloss your your nose and everything else and inside your nostrils I just get my gloss top coat a lot of times I'll put a little bit right down in there I get a good healthy amount of gloss the gloss top coat put some on my eye make sure it hits that bottom eyelid I'm going to go to the inside corner of the eye right there. And that is how I tend to do it right there. Can you give me a good old wet look? Well, here's kind of what he looks like from a frontal view. I just wanted to do it just to show kind of. Um, yeah, he looks pretty good. Just kind of wanted to. Show how I do it. I I didn't do too good of a job on the video. That's why I'm, I'm doing it now. Well, something else I forgot to show you. It's pretty important. Um, see how it looks like it kind of doesn't really flush up with that first wrinkle. You know, on above the eyelid, what makes the eyelid? A lot of times I'll go ahead and bring that in. Like that, you know, kind of make it look like it. If you know what I mean. Kind of make it look like it. And then you can do a little touch up. Now you still got your option with your Q tip. Bring out a little bit of detail here and there. And just kind of get what I'm getting at. Just sort of like that. That's kind of more like what I need to do. I got my natural flesh. I don't know if I showed this either. I think I did, but it looks like it's not bright enough, but believe you me, you don't want to add red and all that stuff to it if you can keep from it. You're kind of mess stuff up if you're not careful. Basically just right here in this nostril here. Now I usually like to shade, I usually like to put dark brown there to give the illusion of depth uh, but a lot of people just like that they like that better and so that's what I'm going to give them 
but it, it's your call. 